Hey guys, Doug B here. Recently, I had a question from Rick Chia asking if I had done a video using the looper with a foot switch. Well, no, not really, so I thought, perfect opportunity to make one. Now, I can think of like maybe four good reasons for using the looper. The first one is for using it to help build your presets. You would put the looper block right after your input block, record a little phrase, and then play that phrase, just endlessly loop it while you check through different amps and cabs and effects and stuff. The Axe FX3 will play the loop endlessly until either you stop it or your wife runs into the room screaming and yanks out the power cord. Word to the wise, do this when no one else is around. Now the second way would be to help you structure a solo. You would record your rhythm guitar loop, then you would build your solo. You could also try out some harmonized lines to see if they work before heading out to the studio. The third use would be for building your solo skills, which is very similar to what I said point two was. But in this case, you might be working on your speed, so you would play a fast rhythm part, loop that, and then play a busy solo over it, working on your speed, your precision, your coordination, etc. The fourth would be in a live setting. Say, for instance, you're in a trio and it's coming on time to play a solo. Well, you could play a rhythm part, record that, and then loop it while you solo over it, basically making it sound like you have another guitar player in the band. But in this situation, though, you definitely would need to have an FC controller. All right, let's check out FC Edit and see how we can set this up. You'll find FC Edit within Axe Edit. Just click on the button labeled FC Edit. It's right underneath the save button. Now I also want the edits to show up immediately on my FC controller. So right here where it says show edits on, click on FC1. Otherwise your FC controller will stay on whatever layout it was on and you'll have to click your way to the looper layout. Now I have an FC6, so I have to be careful about the looper functions that I have in the looper layout, which you know, it's layout number five. I have the six foot switch reserved as a way to jump back to my perform one layout. So that leaves five foot switches. First is record, second is play, third is once, fourth is reverse, fifth is erase, and like I just showed, jumping to the perform one page is the six foot switch. Now it works better if you don't have any hold functions with the record and play foot switches. That way the function will start when you release the foot switch. The record foot switch will start the recording function when you press it. Pressing record a second time and it puts you in overdub mode, which allows limitless overdubs as far as I can tell. The record LED changes from red to yellow and the play LED lights up as well. Press the play foot switch and you can loop over the overdub loop. Press play again to stop the loop. Now if you don't want to do any overdubs, press the record foot switch to start recording, then press the play foot switch at the end of the riff. The loop will start playing and you can play over the loop without overdubbing. Press play again to stop the loop. Okay, so this first example will be overdubbing. Now what I do is I usually go through the phrase one time just to get my timing, then I record the loop. So, let's see how that works.
So that was overdubbing. Now let's do one where we just put down the basic track and then we just solo or whatever over it. Well, there you have it guys, using the FC controller with the looper. Now the looper is pretty powerful. I wish it did have memory slots for storing loops, but you know, that's a thing for the XFX wish list. But when you combine the looper with an FC controller, you can really fill out your sound space, especially like I said, uh, taking that example of a trio and almost expanding it out to a four piece. I mean, would you rather divide that big paycheck up three ways or four ways? Yeah, thought so. All right, guys, so next Wednesday, we'll be taking a look at another preset of the week. Now, you don't want to miss that, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, see you next week.